Here we're given a table of values that was generated using a linear function. We're asked to determine the slope, the vertical intercept, and the equation in slope intercept form for the linear function. Notice here as the x values increase, the y values or function values decrease, so we are going to have a negative slope. To determine the slope, we want to determine the change of y divided by the change of x. To do this, we want to select two points or 200 pairs from our table. And we can select any of them. Let's go ahead and use these last two. So one ordered pair would be zero comma 14, and the other ordered pair is two comma negative 24. Again, it doesn't matter which two points we use to find the slope. And to keep things organized, let's call this point x sub one comma y sub one, and this point x sub two comma y sub two. So the slope m is equal to y sub two minus y sub one, that's negative 24 minus 14 divided by two minus zero. So we have negative 38 divided by two which equals negative 19. So the slope is negative 19. Now we want to find the vertical intercept and enter as an ordered pair. The vertical intercept would be the ordered pair zero comma b. The vertical intercept would be the point zero comma b. So looking at our table, we're fortunate here because notice how we're given the point zero comma 14, which we used down here below, and therefore this point is the vertical intercept because the point zero 14 is on the vertical axis or the y axis. So we want to enter open parenthesis zero comma 14 close parenthesis. Notice how we're asked to enter the vertical intercept as an ordered pair. And now for our last part, we're asked to write the equation of a linear function, and we do want to write it in the form of y equals mx plus b. Well, we now know that the slope is equal to negative 19. And because the vertical intercept is the point zero comma 14, b equals 14. And therefore the equation of our linear function is y equals negative 19x plus 14. Notice for this example we were fortunate because the vertical intercept was in our table of values. In our next example it won't be, so we'll have some extra work. I hope you found this helpful.